Hi, this is Rajesh. Hi, this is Teja. And we are from Vedic Ivory. Uh, so this is a company which we started uh, seven years ago. And we are all uh, BSc graduates. And uh, so we are, we are doing this farming in eight different places across five different states. And uh, yeah, come, come, uh, let's join us uh, so that we'll let you know about all this beekeeping and everything. Thank you. Yeah. Kilometers so, travel marbutu, Hanina, nectar in the collect marcon barate, Banbutu, Mate Tirga, Ile Bandi. Uh, so, this is a company which we started uh, by three brothers and which we started almost like seven years ago we started this and uh, so we are doing this farming in eight different places in five different states and that's how it is and we are now as of uh, situated near Nandi Hills so on the foothills of Nandi Hills uh, near Karali village so where we give you uh, some genuine honey products uh, now let me uh, tell you about uh, what actually honey is so honey is nothing but uh, it's a mixture of uh, the flower nectar and uh, bee enzymes so normally what a bee does bee generally travel across the flowers and collects the nectar and it swallows it completely and it mix up with its enzymes which we call invertase which is present in bee stomach and then it brings it out as a very thick sweet substance which we call it as honey and then it is dropped into cell and that that is what is collected and packed into a bottle which is called um, honey uh, so normally what happens with bees as I told you it not only collects honey it also collects pollen across so what actually pollen is pollen is a powdery sort of particle which is pre present on the flower so when bee travel across in, in search of nectar it even collects a powdery sort of substance on the flower mixed up with its saliva and makes small balls which we call it as pollen grains which you can even find it with us uh, which we call uh, pollen grains here it's a very high source of uh, protein right where you can use this as a alternate for whey protein and everything as such okay, uh, now uh, i'll help you in uh, taking a tour towards uh, what happens inside a bee box i'll help you in seeing uh, showing you what 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 are the sorts of bees and how many varieties of bees are available in a box generally what happens with these bees are like there are three different varieties of bees in a hive so one is the drone the other one is the queen the other one are the worker bees so generally what happens with these drones are right uh, they are the male male uh, bees which are only used for uh, mating purpose right so you can easily identify them based on these things like they are they have a different size in it and these bees you know they are only they doesn't do any work they doesn't collect any honey they doesn't uh, take care of the colony and anything they are only used for mating purpose right so secondary uh, next thing is like going to a, a queen bee so here you can see uh, the queen bee so normally what a queen bee does uh, it goes out and it it, it 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 mates only once in its lifetime and when it mates right it, it collects the enough semen which is required for a queen bee to survive biologically and queen bees work is like you know it lays thousand to three thousand eggs every day and that's how they are and the third one is like worker bee very important thing for a, a hive to be developed so worker bees you know what they do they take care of the entire colony they protect the colony and they, they, they take each and every uh, aspect of a hive to be done and that's how they are the worker bees we call it as a incomplete female and they are the real queens ಈ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ಹಿಂಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಬೀಸ್ ಹೆಂಗ ಆಚೆ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಹೆಂಗೆ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ತಗ್ದ್ರೇನೆ ಆಚೆ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮುಚ್ಚಿಕ್ದ್ರೇನೆ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಂತಾರೆ ಇವಾಗ ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎಂಟ್
ಈ ಬೀಸ್ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಆಚೆ ಹೋಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಮತ್ತೆ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಎಂಟ್ರಿ ಎಕ್ಸಿಟ್ ಗೇಟ್ ಇದು ಇದು ಬಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಇದು ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಹೆಂಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ನೋಡ್ತೀರ ಅಂದರೆ ನೋಡಿ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಏಟ್ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಏಟ್ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಒಂದು ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ನೀವು ನೋಡೋದೆಲ್ಲ ವರ್ಕರ್ ಬೀಸು ಈ ವರ್ಕರ್ ಬೀಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹೋಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ನೆಕ್ಟರಿಂದ ಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಒಂದು ದಿವಸಕ್ಕೆ ತ್ರೀ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ಕಿಲೋಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲ್ ಮಾಡಿಬಿಟ್ಟು ತಿರ್ಗಾ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಬಂದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಇದು ಒಂದು ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಒಂದು ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಬಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಬಿ ಇರೋದು ಒಂದು ದಿವಸಕ್ಕೆ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫೈವ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡಿಂದ ತ್ರೀ ತೌಸಂಡ್ವರೆಗೂ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಫ್ ವರ್ಕರ್ ಬಿ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಡ್ರೋನ್ ಬಿ ದ ಲೈಫ್ ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಟು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಕ್ವೀನ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ವೀನ್ ಬಿ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ತ್ರೀ ಟು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ Uh, Vedic Highbury, uh, B Farm is situated near Nandi Hills. Uh, the reason why we chose this place is like, you know, many people think like uh, for a beehive to survive, many people think like most of the flowering is enough, but uh, we need a natural water body nearby and we need some very good climatic conditions for a bee farm to be established. And especially at Nandi Hills, we have a lot of greenery around and that's the reason we have chose Nandi Hills where we have a lot of flowering around us and the pesticide usage of... Uh, by the farmers nearby is very less compared to the regular uh, farming areas some of them might be wondering like why did we choose uh, this place uh, not into the city the reason is like you know it's not that easy uh, you know getting connected with people the reason the most important thing why we chose this particular place is like we are not here to sell honey we are here to educate people regarding how beekeeping is done how many varieties of honey would be what actually honey is and this is the place where we find some quality people you know where we can easily educate them with the stuff which we have and that's the reason we chose this place in the outskirts of bangalore not into the bangalore uh, normally many people ask me what is difference between your honey and the corporate brands of honey right let me ask you a question now so how come like honey would be in a similar color similar taste and texture throughout the year and throughout the country so what actually what, what actually happens with honey is like honey is not a unidimensional sort of thing it keeps on changing with the season so honey would never be in the same color same taste same texture it keeps on changing based on the season and based on the flower on which the bees go and collect the nectar so these are all you might be wondering what is the difference between each and every honey here so these are all honeys which are collected from different different flowers so based on the flower uh, the honey changes its color taste and texture which i already told you before so this is how they are like this is lychee honey which is collected from lychee flowers and this is karanj honey which is collected from karanj flowers and this is a, a wild forest honey so which uh, which is collected from wild flora yeah coming to uh, this variety of honey nizer uh, which we harvest uh, only for a period of 20 days in a year in a certain window and this has a very unique taste compared to the all other regular varieties of honey and it has much more health benefits compared to other things and uh, coming to infused varieties we also have infused varieties of honey we have uh, rose petals infused into honey and we have ginger infused into honey right and these are all some natural medicines which would really help you this is uh, ginger with honey which will help you in uh, soothing your throat and this is how they are and rose petals will really help you in uh, in improving your blood uh, as we discussed earlier uh, that we are working majorly in the rural areas uh, to support uh, farmers and to share the knowledge to the customers and if you anyone interested in doing this epi- uh, apiculture we are here to support you if anyone need help uh, please contact us